Okay, so something a little different again. If you are long sighted, should you be wearing uh, glasses to drive? Okay, so you'd think that because you can, the, the assumption is if you're long sighted, you can see distance perfectly fine and you can't see up close. That That is the general public assumption. That isn't quite how it works, um, but that's what people think of. So, you know, you can see distance perfectly fine, so you wouldn't need glasses, you'd, you'd, you'd think. Um, well, there's a few um, factors to consider here. You've still got to look at the dashboard, and the dashboard is a closer distance. So even if you're, say, mildly long-sighted, um, so, you, you know, you're okay with the far distance, um, when you look at the dashboard, you are making more of an effort to adjust your focus to a, to a closer distance. Um, so you might sort of consider whether you might need glasses because when you're making that effort, um, obviously there's a chance that you can be distracted from what is going on there if, you're, if all your attention suddenly has to come here. Um, and then there's the other consideration. Um, if you're quite long-sighted, actually you do need glasses to see distance. Um, is it, it's kind of a bit of a myth that people who are long-sighted have perfect distance vision. We, we don't all have it. Um, so the difference between long and short-sighted is if you're short-sighted, um, the, the distance that you can see um, is the distance you can see and that's, that's about it. Um, there, there isn't so much problem with close focusing, um, maybe a little more when you, when you get older and you develop presbyopia, but that is a different matter. Um, if you are long-sighted, you have to make more of an effort to adjust your focus at every distance. So you are making more of an effort than the short-sighted person, and the longer-sighted you are, the more effort you, you have to make. And this is at every distance, so at far and at near. Um, so, um, what is a baseline for, for driving? Tw 2020 is kind of um, considered to be really, really good vision. Um, actually, and I've said this on other videos, what 2020 is, it's acceptable vision um, to fly a plane, basically. Um, so it's not the greatest vision, it's good vision, um, certainly, but the best visual acuity is probably around um, maybe 2015, 2012. That's probably where you might want to put a baseline. Um, so I've got some figures up here and... So if you've got between 2030 to 2040, that would be a minus 0.5. If you've got um, 2050, that would be a 0.75. And that, I think, 
uh, for driving, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that is probably where um, you start needing glasses for driving. Um, again, I could be wrong, so do, please do not take this as red and go out and think, oh yeah, my eyesight's fine for driving. Um, I'm just guessing off the top of my head here. Um, now, I would say for... Uh, I really don't understand why they've put this like this because they got 2025 vision as 1.75. Well, it, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be for starters. Um, I mean, so, something like 2012 might be, um, or 2015. I'd say might might be point plus two five. Um, so if you're taking that as a baseline, you might want one point plus one point two five. Um, that might be the point at which you might want to consider wearing glasses for driving. Um, I would say if you're like around plus 250, anything above that, you would definitely want to consider uh, wearing, dri wearing driving glasses, even if it was like half moons um, to, to be able to come to a, qu a quick focus on the dashboard to check your speed, um, whatever. Um, mm, I lost my train of thought here. Um, it it also depends on on your age because um, that that is if you're moving into the pluses, not so much for the minuses for for short sightedness, but if you're long sighted, um, when you're young, obviously you can compensate more, you can change your focus a lot more easily. Um, so. Like, say, when you get to your 40s, perhaps, if you're long-sighted by about 250, you probably definitely uh, want to be wearing glasses by then. Um, but, yeah, I've kind of picked up this topic because um, you hear about, you know, people say, oh, you need glasses for driving. And they always mean minus glasses for short-sightedness. Um, whether you should be wearing them for long-sightedness has never actually been considered. I think um, it should be considered. It should be considered seriously. Um, because for one, I don't see as well in the distance without... Um, glasses and I'm long sighted so I actually need a plus to see a bit better in, in the far distance so it is definitely something that I think should be taken into consideration.